And then you ought to see this. I'm ready whenever you are. Just like that. Yep. That'll work. That's money. Money! Yeah. That's yeah. 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 money right there! Fight with the bulls? Yeah! <laughs> Wade Lemon Hunting, your premier outfitter for Utah and Sonora, Mexico. You know, sheep hunting, I love it because you go to areas where most people can't get to. And then when you're up there, the views are just awestruck. So I feel like you're in a really special place and you know, where the animals live and just to see how they function is just amazing. And I just, it's so much of a challenge. It's, you know, physical and then it's mental and it just, it's hard, it's difficult. And I think that's why I like it so much. When I got my tag, I, you know, knew that I was possibly going to fulfill my Grand Slam, which at least I had, you know, something that I can go after and try. So we decided to have Wade Lemon Hunting help us because they know the area and the boundaries to make sure we're in the right areas. You know, the first day we hiked. Lot. In fact, hiked so much. My leg was hurting pretty good. I saw some sheep and I saw a nice one, but it wasn't quite what we were looking for. So we decided to just keep going hiking and keep looking and spot. And just didn't find the big one. So we did that all day, got back late in the evening. Second day, um, we decided to go to a different area. We didn't hike as much, so we looked just a lot of areas. And uh, we didn't really see much, just a few. I would look, but... I'll put this toward you to see when it is. The third day, we decided to do another big hike. So we decided to go straight up and did a nice long hike. And saw only a few rams. Again, nothing that was, you know, exactly what we were looking for, but nice to see that, you know, in a few years, we'll be really nice rams. And then that brings us to day four. I just, I had a great feeling about today. I thought today was gonna to be the day, I don't know why.
So we were just hiked up this huge mountain. And, uh, like 1,200 birds feet. Yeah, over some nice boulders. And sat down to just glass and saw this ram over there that looks really nice. Legal, eight, nine. Eight year old ram. We all sit here talking about it and I think it's the best decision since we already made it up here. Let's just keep hiking and looking and seeing what we can find today. We need something just a little bit bigger. We're looking for a no brainer. One thing off sudden. Are we gonna do it? <laughs> no, we're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> decided, you know, let's just keep looking. It's early in the morning. And so we all just kind of kept going around the corner and just kept looking. And I just kept thinking, wow, this looks like a beautiful spot. And, and we just sat down and, you know, and started glassing up. And again, Brandon says, well, there's a sheep up there. <laughs> oh, there is a ram. I thought so. He's staring right at us. He's heavy. I just don't know how long he is. We knew he was heavy, but we didn't know quite how big he was so we just kept looking until he finally stood up and started looking and we're sitting there looking and Brandon's like look there's a ram over there to the right just came out of nowhere on the flats we're like around this bend that we have no idea how he showed up so we started watching him and he was another nice big heavy ram so then we were like trying to decide okay which one and so we had time to look at him and then they started to move out. So when they, they started to move out, that's obviously when we had to kind of make a decision. And so we all had plenty of time to really get, okay, yes, this is what we want. That one's heavy. Now let's go for it. If, if we feel like we're stretching it real, distance wise, let's watch them and see what they do. Okay, I think we're okay. I'm 542. 542. 575. Okay, which one is he, Brandon? Is he walking to the left? Um, he's not moving. He's, yeah, he's isn't the butt. He's kind of His behind butt's that tree. Right at us. got the next shot because he laid behind a rock. Hope he just got back up. Where's he at? Where's he at? Okay, you see, you see the green tree? Mm -hmm. And the one way up there? Yep. He's, he's, he's laying looking. back down. There's a rock right in front of him. Yep, yeah. that's right. Just hold hold right there for a bit. Just hold right there. He's going to try to stand again. Yeah, there's a rock right in front of his body. So he'll try to stand up eventually. Now, now we're just waiting here because I know, I know. there's no shot. What are you, what, what's your range on this one? Though? I'm gonna raise it right now. We're just we're just on him in case he stands. Right? Go up closer. No, no. yeah, go, let's go up and open that saddle too. Steve, go anywhere, right? <laughs> okay, Carrie, carry your rifle and we'll, we'll start hiking. Too. I think so too. Okay, I think. Hank, just get on him, Carrie. Okay, I can't see him. Can you see much of him? 
I think it went through him. I do too. It sounded like a hit. I can't even see him breathing. No, he's done. Had a girl. We're gonna call that a grand slam round. Slam round. I'm so thankful to do this. To and what about the wonderful crew we got? To oh my us? gosh, uh, wonderful God-fearing yeah. people around us. You come a long ways to get slammed, huh? Yeah. You got to thank God first for even being able to physically even come up and do these things. And all these wonderful people that try so hard yeah. right with me. I mean, they everybody's works as hard as I do. You're giving her 120% every day. I know. And night. And I'm so thankful. And my husband supports me every step of the way. Yeah. We've right been person. hiking for so long that yeah. <laughs> I never thought I would even kill one sheep, let alone four. about sheep hunting is the lows are big lows deep valleys and the highs are big oh. highs on top of the mountain well yeah and I've always been one that if I don't get anything I'm fine I just got to try go out there and try make an effort and have a great time okay. and be happy every day whether you see some or whether you don't <laughs> then when you get something you're like ecstatic right or you start crying like a blubbering idiot, <laughs> idiot like me <laughs> congratulations I mean this plan Good job. I can't believe it. Yep. Yeah. Got her done.